All right, team, I already did a, um, a quick overview of a product that I really liked called AI Denoise. It's another Topaz Labs product. So I'm evaluating three or four of their products, and I'm going to give you a, a, probably about one a month and just let you know what I think of each one. So the, this one is kind of the opposite of Denoise. It's Sharpen. This is called AI Sharpen. Um, this one runs as a plugin, so you can run it externally so I can open up the program and do it in there, but it also integrates into Photoshop. So I took a image here. This is a red-necked Farallope, and it's an image I liked, but if I when I got in close, uh, this is a little bit over 100%, but it just was a little soft around here. So I thought, well, here's a good test. Let's see, you know, when you zoom out, you don't really see the softness as much, but when you get in close, it's definitely there. So the first thing I did is applied my standard noise, uh, standard noise, my standard sharpening technique, and I use a high pass filter. I can do a separate tutorial on this at some time, or again, if you have one of those questions that you want to ask me, um, but there's plenty of, of videos and tutorials on high pass sharpening. This is what it did. So it did a modest uh, sharpen. It took some of those feather details and took the eye, sharpened up around the edges a little bit. Typically with this, I mask it in, so it'll apply it globally to the whole image, and then I would create a mask, invert the mask, and then I would just take a paintbrush, and I would just paint it back into the, um, on the subject. So, you know, right now I'm just painting back in at 100% opacity, uh, and I would just kind of color it back in. So there's the mask off completely with no sharpening, and there's with the high pass filter. All right. Now I have never tested this product. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take that one off. I created a duplicate layer. So this is the soft image. I'm gonna go up to filter. Uh, let me select the right layer there. Go up to filter, Topaz Labs, Topaz Sharpen AI. All these AI products take a little bit of time to run. So it'll probably take a minute or two. And it they do allow for previews. So the image processing modes are sharper, stabilize, and focus. Stabilize is mostly for motion blur. So if a subject was moving or if you had motion blur from bad hand holding technique or something like that, uh, it attempts to minimize that that motion. And focus is when something's just a little bit out of focus. Uh, it will attempt to pull it back. So we can we can experiment with both focus and sharpen and see what they do to the overall image. So this is the focus mode. And I'm going to zoom in here. I'm at 100% now, but I want to get into 200%. So I'll get really, really tight on this one. And we'll just see if it'll give a preview. There it is. So that's the original, and that's the focus. And there's a, a slider here for remove blur. So let's jack that up a little bit and see what happens. Again, and each time I make an adjustment, it's going to recalculate and there is a thing here for noise suppression so I'm not gonna uh, dial this up too much I'm gonna keep this low because I do noise suppression um, on a separate layer so let's just kind of preview the focus and then I'll go over to the sharpen mode okay definitely sharpened it up all right now let's try sh well let's let's make let's apply this so that's the background layer. This is gonna get applied to that background layer. So it's gonna process now for a minute. And in the meantime, I'm not sure if it'll let me know, it won't let me. I'll make a duplicate layer of this and I'll process the same image using the sharpen instead of the focus. And then we'll compare all three techniques and see which one uh, we think that did the best job. And again, this is an artificial intelligence software, so it is. it takes some time to recalculate. One of the nice things about this is it looks like it will do multiple things. So they advertise it, unlike most sharpening tools, this will selectively sharpen only the areas that it thinks should be sharp, and it will apply noise reduction if appropriate to areas that need it. So it's almost like you're doing um, two things in one action you're doing the noise reduction and the sharpening at the same time but like i said since i'm so uh i really like that denoise program my intent would be at least right now to use both 
softwares on two different layers. So I would apply noise reduction, apply sharpening, and then just mask in the sharpen areas that I wanted. All right, so this one's finishing up. All right, I'm gonna take that off. And now I'm gonna go in and duplicate the layer again. So let me just rename these before I forget. This one was the focus. This one was my standard. And now this one will be uh, sharpened. So I'm gonna go up to the filter, Topaz, Sharpen AI. Okay, and now we're using the Sharpen and I'm gonna go in at 200%. I want to get on that eye and see. Um, let's crank this up a little bit and see what it does. Go a little stronger. Also an option here to add grain. So as it's removing uh, and suppressing noise, it gives you the option to actually put some of that noise back in. So I, I actually don't like images that are completely smooth in the background it doesn't look natural to me especially when you're using some of these ai programs so i do like a little bit so i'm getting rid of some of the noise suppression adding in a little bit of the green and i've got the remove blur cranked up as high as it'll go so okay let's apply that and see what happens and we'll take a look at all three So this one's processing. And again, when I did uh, my method applies globally, these two methods are gonna be selective and attempt to sharpen. So I'm gonna zoom in here real tight. So we're gonna get at 250% here. That's the original. This is my standard sharpening. That's off. And that's on. I like what that did. I'm going to take that off. I'm going to go to the sharpen. I tightened it up real nice. And now let's compare the sharpen to mine. So this is the AI sharpen. That's my sharpen or my traditional sharpen. AI sharpen. Around here, I noticed a big difference. Uh, the, sh the AI did a better job right around that bill. That's mine. You can see it's a little softer here. Go back. Yeah, definitely tighten that up real nice. Now let's try the focus. So this is, I'm back on mine. So this is my standard sharpen. And this is the focus. Now this one I can see more artifacting for sure. Um, like right around here, there's a little bit. So that's mine. Yeah, right in here, it looked a little unnatural. Again, I'm zoomed in at 250%. So I'm going to compare, now let's compare the focus AI versus the sharpen AI. So this is focus, I'm showing focus now, and that's the sharpen. Again, that's the focus, and that's the sharpen. I would say of these three, the AI sharpen was my first choice. AI focus uh, probably wasn't the right application for this one. And then... Um, my traditional sharpen worked a little bit, but I don't think it did as well as the uh, the eye sharpen. So I was a little surprised. I didn't think it would be a huge difference. Uh, and, and now let's look at the background noise. Uh, this is with the AI sharpen, and then that's my traditional. So there is more noise in here. The AI sharpen did remove a little bit of noise. And keep in mind, I actually added some grain back in there. When I do the focus, it really is smooth here on the focus because I didn't use the grain uh, to add back in. So. Yeah, pretty interesting results. Um, that's the original. That's my Sharpen. That's the AI Sharpen. When I'm zoomed out, really not a huge difference, but as you get uh, closer in here, you start to see where the AI Sharpen tightened up some images or some areas, especially along the edges is where I notice it the most. So uh, yeah, pretty happy with the, with the product. I'll continue to experiment that with this. I'm gonna actually include this Sharpen, I think, in my workflow from now on and play around with it for a little while. And then maybe in a couple months, I'll give you an update on it. But uh, very promising right now. 
I'll add a link here if you're interested in trying out the product or purchasing it. There's free trials and uh, use my link and hopefully we'll get some, uh, some other people trying it out and giving their feedback on it as well. All right, have a great day.